one Chris Chu here on East International Martial Arts Nomad with the special guest, Grandmaster Bruce Chu, also known as my dad. Yeah. Um, we're on our way to a seminar um, in Jacksonville. It's the camp that we've done, or you've been a part of for 31 years. 31 years. I think. That's incredible. Um, but we're not going to talk about that one, unfortunately. We're going to talk about another one we just came back from. Um, the World Modern Art East Legacy Camp, hosted by the one, the only, Grandmaster Brian Zelinsky, who, first and foremost, an amazing camp, right? I mean, it was a lot of fun. I think that GM Brian is one of the best people in the world. Yeah, I mean, good guy. Good, good guy. But I also think phenomenal he's, martial artist. I think he's the best, well most well-rounded of our of that I personally know. I don't know everybody. But, so that's just my opinion. But I mean, now see. another good thing did happen at this seminar. It happens every two years. Next was 2025. Someone got promoted. But we just passed the Bates Motel. This motel on 301 looks like the one that's psycho. <laughs> it always looks abandoned. Anyway, um, it's for a proud give me shit, but again, I don't care, uh, about promoting my own son, so I said, I'm not going to do it, I won't promote it this time, uh, I uh, talked to Brian, he had the, the Legacy Masters, great test, uh, great Chris, and they promoted him to fourth, uh, what, the, the, the pot. Oh, yeah, there you go, he said, hello, 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 yeah, pot. Pot. yeah, so he's now fourth degree in modern age. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. What's better is that as he said this when he was promoting me, it wasn't the, oh, I'm so proud of this, this the uh, karma sucks, doesn't it, because you guys did this to me last time we were here. Yeah, but, karma sucks. But no, I was very honored to receive that and to have all of those amazing instructors, you know, Grandmaster Brian well, Linsky, Super Dan, Bram, Sinchi. Datu Dieter, Shinshi Janet, special guest Tom Bolden and Michael Bates, and also Rivera. Uncle Chad, Roland Rivera, all these great names to be on this certificate. Just to, it was cool because these are guys well, that I've watched here on videos for years. These great, oh, and Ray, these, Ray. yeah, Uncle Ray, these great martial artists, these great students, uh, Professor Ray Braces, all original Braces students. They. I didn't. I didn't have anything to do with it. Other than I said, hey, Brian, I, I'd like to see about promoting Chris. And he said, I'll take care of it. And Spelled my name wrong in the first certificate. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's so common, right? But the, the, the fact that, that they all did that was just they're well deserved. It was a great camp. The amount of knowledge. Oh, my God. question and hour session. So we had originally planned on about a 45 minute question and hour session at the end of the Saturday night daytime. So there is 24 hours, over 24 hours of instruction. And on Saturday we decided to slow things down. We had dinner there at the front Ryan. They provided dinner uh, food truck at the uh, venue which was great. Great barbecue. And, they, and, and also the guy, the venue was great. The guy who let us use his Amazing. And then, but we decided to keep it a little more informal. Then we we're going to have a question and answer session like this about 45 minutes. Ended up at two hours. I mean, it went wild. It was great. And I know one of the professors always said you should have fun. Well, one of the things I enjoyed most about this camp, and this is kind of the way I, I talk about life in general, you know, one of the reasons I like my job, same reason is at this seminar there were many different points when I really laughed so hard I cried I I, I mean I belly laughed it was great when you can do that plus learn from all these great guys and I learned I learned a lot and I'm supposed to be way up there I learned these guys all taught me something um, so it was great and so many great martial arts 
Chad, he was a guest instructor. Uh, Jason Bay from Colorado brought me to his people. Uh, uh, Kevin and Jackie from Kansas City. Uh, the Pearsons from, from Georgia. I mean, just you know, from all over people came. A lot of fun. Some people from out of country and some people from California. Yeah, that's out of it. You know, that's it's this country. California counts, okay. oddly enough. But no, um, it, was a, it was a lot of fun. Talk about the camp a little bit more, actually, too. But 
I want us to get into what do you think the future of, and I've had you and Chad in this car about the future of modern RVs before. You know how sick I am of that question. I know, but I'm going to change it. Not the future of modern RVs, the future of the legacy camps. Do you think you're going to see, because I know you and GM Brian talked about stuff and you were talking to other instructors about it. Where do you see the future of this legacy camp growing? Like, I don't know. I think we had like 40 more people this time. Yep. So if, it goes, if, it, if, it, if it's the exponential growth is the same, then we should have 60 more people next time or something like that. My math sucks. The only age and such like that. Well, I'm not present, present company included. I'm not. I'm yeah. Great at math. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's just going to keep growing because. back to what, what Professor created. I've said this before on, on this show that it's not, he, he didn't make a system that belonged in, in, in his own Reverend Price's school, right? It really is the art within your art. Anybody can do it. It can help anybody's art become better just because of the drills and the flow and the movement aspect. And yeah, just it's, it's going to only grow. And I think it's good that we only we had to do it every other year as well. I, I think that's another important part of making it successful. I think Brian did, did a great job of what playing. I'm hoping to see new instructors like from across the globe come in. I know, unfortunately, um, Jim Bobbitt could not make it. I know he was supposed to be there, I know he wanted to be there. But unfortunately, traveling is difficult for people sometimes. Same with Dr. Kelly. Same with Dr. Kelly and uh, uh, Jim Hawk. Hawk was supposed to be there, I think, originally. But due to a previous engagement, he couldn't make it. So there's still so many more original princess students that are of great character that should be at this event. That <laughs> Or they're just great characters. Well, character to me matters more than skill. That's how you no, talk. No, but I mean, they're just also characters. No, they're all also characters. <laughs> Which goes into the part that I'll, I think will be the most interesting thing to end with is that what I noticed at this camp, more than anything else, that made me just go, wow. Seeing all of you guys, all you instructors, be like brother and sister, you know, children like, because you're just having fun. Oh, you're going off of, like you're oh well so and so taught this so I wanted to try this oh well that's cool let me try this because I saw so and so do that like G and Brian said the best all the egos were at the door it was so no one fun. had any ego at this event which we've been to tons of events where not only has the ego gotten into the door it's still on the mat teaching well yeah and and, and that is true and, and I, I think you also had a really good point when when you got to come to the instructor dinner. All these great martial arts grandmasters were just a bunch of people who were good friends. All the titles were going, you were just eating pizza. And I'll tell you one thing. For you sure. guys all kept eating the chips and trying to keep filling the yeah. chip bowl because you guys kept eating them. They were good. You know, we keep this one. We really are a family. Uh, and I told you this, I think it's it's, it's so evident. And you have these world class uncles. There's not one of them that if you didn't call tomorrow and said, hey, I, 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 can you help me? Everyone would, because they're all such good people. We really are a family. Uh, I'd do anything for any of them. And it's not just, you know, me being your kid. A lot of you guys, I've read that probably been the beginning part of it, but all of you guys are such good people, you'd have done it for anyone as part of the family. Yeah. Like, Brian would give the sharpest back for anybody, no question. For anybody that... that that he likes. He's, yeah, that he's friends with. Yeah, that's, that's good people. Yeah. You know, and that's where I think... Well, you know, here... here uh, well, this will be my ending thing. Okay. You know, Jack Hogan, a very good friend of mine, used to comment about how good people were in an organization. I told him, I said, well, it's because you're a good person. And I think that's exactly what Brian was saying. Yeah, what a great camp, you know. It was so much fun. There were so many good people here. Well, yes, we 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 came for the the art and the learning and the, and the training. But the reason we came is we can have. There's many people that train in professors' arts. Many people that have seminars. Many people that have other arts and seminars. But the reason a hundred plus people came to this 
it's because Brian's a good person. And, and, and like I said before, and you already said it, I told you when you were little, a good person is better than a good skill. In a lot of ways, it's more important. So Character means more. Yeah. I've and, always said that. And, and Brian is such a good person that there's nothing we wouldn't do for that. He said, hey, are you going to have time to come next? You know what? I'll make time. I don't care. Boom. I will be. If he has it, I'm there. Because there are people already blocking off their calendars for two years. From for now. 2025, yeah. Because it's Brian and because it was so awesome. And, and it was so awesome because he's awesome. And, and, and I, I truly believe that. And deep down, he's the reason the camp is a success. He and Maria, his wife, she put up with all this. <laughs> she was encouraging us. Yeah. Sure, try this drink. It's great. Try it. Try it. Try it. It was an amazing camp. We're looking forward to the next one. Um, if you can, you've got it is it is October thirteenth, twenty twenty three. You've got two years to plan ahead for this camp. Hey, look! If you put ten dollars away every month between now and twenty twenty five, you'll have it paid for and then some. But I'm serious, if you can only go to one, and I, I do uh, 10, 15 a year. If you can only go to one, and you're a student of Filipino martial arts or any art, actually, but especially if you love FMA, you need to go there. And if you can only go to one, that's the one to go to. Because you'll, you'll see so much and learn so much. Because there were so many systems that weren't just modern or East. Oh, yeah. We were all there due to the connection that every single one of you guys have with the professor. We can't argue that the professor's why we're there, but he's not the only one that was there. There was some Serata people, there was, you know, the Lintawak people were there, FCS, which you could say is, you know, came from Modern East, which, yeah, sure, two Ombre would say the same thing. But then there was Kempo, Jiu Jitsu, there was so many different arts that were there and just wanting to learn and experience what you guys had to share and share in what the professor created. Yep. And as you would say, Professor would say, good, now go make it your own. Very true. So, we're looking forward to it. We'll see you guys in Connecticut in 2025. And I'll have another episode coming out soon, which I did before this, which you will like. It talks about what we just talked about. Character versus rank. I don't care how big you are. If you're terrible, you would be not. But that's a spoiler for the next episode. So, all right, guys. Chris Chu here. Saying goodbye, Grandmaster Bruce Chu here. When you're, you are, and it's documented. All right, guys. Later.